This is 5-Minute Power Platform, where I'm doing short experiments in Dynamics Flow, Power Apps, and Azure. In this video, we'll automatically watermark PDF files that are uploaded to a SharePoint document library using Flow and a third-party action by Muhimbi. So we'll start by creating a document library. Give it a name. Watermark me is good enough. I'll drag in a document here so you can see the document we're working with. It just says test PDF file in the middle, but there's nothing else on the document. So now let's configure the Muhimbi in our flow. So we'll create a new flow here. So let's look through the uh, preset flows here. I don't see these templates look right. So let's just go right to the top here and we'll create a blank flow and we'll get started. The trigger we'll choose is when an item is created in SharePoint. And we'll configure that for our site and our document library called Watermark Me. We'll just add that in, Watermark Me. And then let's add a new step that'll get us at the actual attachment content. So let's get the let's get the attachment content. Again, the site. We'll add in our list name, watermark me. The ID is going to be the list item of the selected item, the selected uh, item, and then the file identifier is going to be the actual attachment. And so now we need to modify that. We'll use the Muhimbi PDF for that, the PDF watermark action. This is a custom action that I've already activated before I started this video. So we'll have to go through an activation process to get a free trial. So let's take the attachment content, we'll feed that into Muhimbi, and then we can just add some watermark text. Let's do the created date just to keep it simple. Got a font size and font color in there. We'll choose an Arial font. We'll set it to 22 so it's nice and big so we can see it. And then we'll do some positioning. Let's see how about put it on the bottom left. Set the width real wide. We don't really care about that. Set the height, something suitable. We're just trying to get it on the page, really. And then we need to update the PDF once it's done. That's going to do the watermarking, but it's not going to put it back into SharePoint. So now we'll do an update file. Again, we'll put in our site. We'll give it our file identifier and the actual content that's been updated from Muhimbi, so the processed file content, and we'll save that. So now let's run a quick test. Start the trigger, save the trigger, quickly go over into SharePoint, and we'll drag in one of our PDFs that needs to be updated. There it is, test PDF file. It doesn't have anything on the footer of it, and that's what we're going to add automatically through Flow. So I'll come in, let's see, we see some green check marks. That's good. It's got the attachment from SharePoint. It's working through adding the watermark. And then... We see that it's done successfully and it's updated the file. So now if we go back into SharePoint, we should be able to click on this and we should be able to see a watermark on the bottom of it. And there you go, the bottom left is the create date of that file. So now we can drag in a few more files there and we'll see them get updated too. Here we go. So we should see test file two now after a few seconds, not yet. Let's go back and check it out again. We can also monitor the flow. See it succeeded now, so now we can go back and check it out. Test file two is now updated with the watermark as well. So there in about three minutes, we've got the process of hooking up a third-party component to do PDF watermarking in SharePoint.